Hi everybody, welcome to day 37 of the lockdown. Uh, bit of a weird day today. I got up, tried to pack the kiln, the little electric kiln, and uh, it wouldn't switch on. I couldn't figure out what it was, and the plug wouldn't pull out, so something happened to the plug socket. So I've had to rewire the plug socket, and it's working alright now, but that, that was this morning. Uh, I've upgraded the wiring on it, and uh, it's fine now. So that's the first thing this morning. And then this afternoon what I've been doing is uh, glazing the teapots, so I'll show you how I do that. Uh, well it's not so much, but you glaze the inside and then I put wood ash on the outside, so uh, there's a little demo of that. And uh, that's it, I'm just about done, it's nearly 5 o'clock, so a bit late today because of the problem with the kiln, it's nearly fired. Um, once that stuff comes out tomorrow. Uh, it's all the tall uh, eager vases, so uh, I might uh, do a video tomorrow of glazing those with wood ash and uh, uh, nephilim cyanite, and I'm just gonna go wild with it. So um, I'll do some video in of that tomorrow. So uh, here's the video of me uh, glazing. Okay, everybody, I'm just gonna um, glaze these teapots now. Um, I'm going to glaze the inside and the outside is going to have wood ash on and it's going to run and dribble hopefully down the outside. Uh, just make sure that where I cut the holes in for the uh, spout there's no burrs in there. No dust inside. And it's just a question of pouring it in. Finger over the spout. Pour it through the spout a little bit, but pour the most of it out through the top because I don't want it too thick through those holes. And then the question is uh, also <coughs> a quick blow <coughs> through the holes and it'll stop it from uh, sealing up with glaze. And now it's just question of glazing the inside of here, um, just add a little bit of colour, finger over the uh, air hole so it doesn't all run out, tiny bit of clay, bit, bit, tiny bit of glaze there, did run out a little bit, <laughs> that's it, done. No. Just needs cleaning up, and then I'm going to show you how to uh, how I put the outside ash on that. Right, I'm just going to uh, put the ash on these teapots now. Um, I'm going to dip it in the water, but I have to put my finger over the end there, otherwise the water goes up the spout and washes all the glaze out of it. So just dip it in. Question of sipping on the ash. Make sure I get some on the inside of the handle because that's the bit that people touch. It needs to be smooth, not rough. Off that the, the lip there, and then when you pour it, it if it, this gets glazy and sort of glossy, it will run back. So you leave a rough bit there, and it cuts the water when you uh, cuts the tea when you tip it back up. Hopefully, uh, lid to the water. on the top. That will be fired separately on a shell. That's it. Right, and now I'm glazing these uh, tea bowls. I'm going to have the wood ash on the outside. I'll show you how I do that. Glaze the inside first. Then dip it in 
into water. And down here I've got a tub of uh, I've got a tub of wood ash here. And I'll just sieve wood ash onto the wet part of the pot. And hopefully that will have some nice little runs and dribbles. Sorted. Just a quick look at some glazing. These have all got the nuker on. So the wood ash on the teapots, more nuker. These have got the stripes underneath, you can just about see it. Uh, I've done a couple of the eager vases there, covered in wood ash. Uh, over here, more wood ash drying pots and the last of the uh, nuka uh, dragonfly and uh, bulrush designs so glazing done glazing mayhem right that's it uh, time for something to eat I'm a bit late get this edited and on uh, another t-shirt today up the blades see you tomorrow